the university is not taking any tuition fee as the tuition fee is free of charge but there are critical information that you need to understand about this university for you to be accepted okay so i intentionally played that video for you so that you can get what i want to tell you in today's video okay i made a video that was uh some days back and uh i noticed that this video have a lot of view and it will be very bad if i don't come back here to come and give you updates about this university because when i made that video that was uh first of may i told you that this university is actually uh, uh ongoing i have an ongoing admission okay but one thing about this university is that their admission is starting today Okay, this university admission starts today, and when I go to the portal to start the application, I find out that a lot of people are going to be doing the wrong thing. Okay, so if you intended to apply for a master program, you might end up applying for a bachelor program. Okay, so that is why I come here today to come and show you updates about this university because they are very tricky. The application is very tricky and they they give you like a pretest. It's not a test. They just give you some information to, to select either yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. When you select that option, yes or no, it will now give you the option of going for a bachelor. Okay, so this is it here. No, this is the first one I did. And when I finish this, it's actually telling me that I can apply for an undergraduate program. And from the course that I selected, the course I selected was actually a master program course. But when I get to this page to start uh, selecting yes or no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, I ended up with the interface that is asking me to apply for an under, undergraduate program, okay? So this is why I bring this video for you today so that most of you that has watched that video because that video have more than 4,000 views right now as at this time I'm recording this update, okay? So I'm going to be walking you through step-by-step step what you need to select for you to be able to completely and successfully apply to this university because this university have no tuition fee. So they are trying to reduce the number of people that can successfully apply to their program because they do not have any tuition fee. They do not have any application fee, okay? And in that video, I told you that the start date for the admission is actually 10th of May, and this is today, okay? So this is today, and that is why I'm bringing you this update. And if we go to the uh, deadline here, you're going to see that... Uh, it is actually writing beginning of May 2023, and they are now showing the application link, okay? So that is the information I'm bringing to you today. So I want you to sit back and patiently watch the application procedure, okay? So not everybody is going to watch this video because not everybody wants to apply to this university, but uh, that video has a lot of views, so I don't, want, I don't just want to leave you at the middle of the ocean without giving you the full gist about this university. Because me, myself, I pick interest in this university, okay? So let me walk you through step by step how you can easily select or how you can carefully answer those questions. It is just like six uh, questions, yes, no, yes, no. So I'm going to be showing you then we are going to apply to this university together, okay? So if you've not watched this video, make sure you watch this video so that you can understand the requirements for the video because I gave you total breakdown of the information you need, okay? So I'm going to also drop the link of this first video at the description of this video. Then I will go back to this uh, old video and also drop the link of this new video that you are watching right now, okay? Please, if you find this video useful, please don't hesitate to click on that like button and turn on the notification bell. If you are just coming across my channel, on this channel, I make video about traveling abroad, migration abroad, study abroad, tourism, and information like that, okay? So if this interests you, please don't hesitate to smash the red subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified when I have another video on this channel okay so let's begin with today's video okay so right here we have 
I'm always almost uh, always concerned about programs that are totally taught in English. So I've shown you this part in the previous video. So I will not bore you with that information. We just go straight. So I'm going to uh, just pick one of those programs we've talked about earlier. Uh, I think it's this one. So I've picked uh, the new master. Uh, let me see. Okay. Let me just close this page and select a new one. So I'll click on this this information about the master program in business development. Oh, I click it twice. So it will bring me to this page. So I want to apply for this. This is the master program, right? This is the master program. Under their bachelor, you can go there and select the program you want, okay? So uh, let's come to this business development master course, okay? So if you scroll down here, you see that Period is first semester, that's two years. First semester commencing in October. So if you successfully apply to this university, you are going to be migrating and starting or start your class by October, okay? So, and the language of instruction is English. Classroom size is not specified. Application period is first of May. You know, I always say that you don't have to wait for the admission application deadline before you actually apply to a university okay so now here it says apply here it says apply now apply now until 15th of may so anything you want to do latest by the end of may you should have select your uh your you should have submitted your application in case there's any uh documents they need you to verify again or they need you to upload again or do any other thing so that you can always meet up with the deadline. Please, I'm begging you. I want us to win together on this channel, okay? So that is that. Then I'm going to click on, let me see if the link is the same. Okay. Moesta de Bioaponche Pote. Okay. So I think the link is the same. This one and this one, they are the same. So I'm going to click on this. Okay, but I want you to know that there are different deadlines for each of this program. So if you come to the deadline page, uh, this is for uh German student, that's uh native uh native students. Okay, if you come to this page, you are going to see that they have some programs that actually that actually have different deadline and here is restricted admission that is not what we want or state exam that is not what we want okay they also have master degree first semester all of this blah 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 dhl all of this so make sure you carefully look at what you want that is why i always take my time to do a breakdown of a university and give you the total guide okay so uh this is where you should be right now so smash that red subscribe button turn on the notification bell okay so this is the link that we have here. So I'm going to click here. Uh, no, no, no. I suppose to click here. Then I suppose to see translation. I don't know why that page is not translating. So I will just reload and see if I can get the okay. So it's here now. So I'll click on English. So if your page is not translating, just reload, reload that page again. So it's going to translate for you. So I'm going to select the wrong thing so that you can see what I'm actually saying first before we do the right thing, okay? So because if you don't do mistake, then you are not going to do the right thing. So this is it here. It says, please select your nationality, okay? I'm from Nigeria. Yeah. So I'm going to select Nigeria. Then once you fit that, then it's going to ask you, in which country did you obtain your high school? That's your secondary school, 12 years uh certification also from nigeria you live in germany no i don't live in germany i live outside of germany have you enrolled have you already studied in germany or at university abroad are, are you still enrolled at the university no okay have you completed a preparative course or completing it soon yes okay so here now is asking for SFP degree, okay? So if you understand what SFP means, then you are going to know. So I'm going to select M category, M. 
Then I'm going to put uh let's just put a random year. 20, 20, let's put 20, let's put 2018. Yeah. So let's just put a random year and see what is going to happen here. So once I click on that, then we are going to wait. You can see now that I actually click a link from a master program and this link actually is, is recommending undergraduate courses for me. Okay, so you can see now, and it's saying you must provide your uh, school living certificate, evidence of previous education, mm -hmm. and also an SFP uh, test certificate. Okay, so you have to be careful. You have to be careful. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you want to uh, go for undergraduate, you have to also make sure you select the right thing so that you don't end up with the FF, uh, FSP test. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to click on this, then I'm going to click on back, okay? So it's now going to say error. So I'll close that page, then I'll come back here again and come and click on the link again, okay? So I just want to I just want us to see, because most of you that once you watch video like two, three, four minutes, you just skip off and jump to the link and start your application. This is why I'm making this video for you. Okay, so I'm going to translate the page again. Where is the translation? Why is this thing idling? Okay, I'm going to reload the page again and click on English. Okay, so nationality, I'm from Nigeria. Yeah, said that before. Uh, from Nigeria also. So make sure if you are not from Nigeria, if you are, if you are from Kenya, you are from Uganda, you are from Pakistan, India, anywhere make sure you select the right information so do you live in germany no so now we want to select the right thing now okay so have you already studied in german or in germany or at the university abroad so he's asking have you already studied in a university abroad the answer is yes so you don't have to uh, look at other things okay have you completed your study or are you about to complete them? So have you already completed your study is the first question. Yes. So in which country did you obtain your university degree? You can see it, right? you can see it now. These people are very tricky, okay? So uh, actually I did not study from Nigeria. So, <laughs> but let me use Nigeria because yeah, I've not studied from Nigeria. That's a story for another time. Yeah. So most of you think I studied from Nigeria. No, that is wrong. Would you like to study a master degree? Yes. So you can see now that is now bringing us master degree. Then I click on yes. Okay. So which of the following German language tests will you be able to provide? I know some people, once they see this, they will just close the page and go off. Don't do that. Wait, be patient. Okay, so I will just click none of the above. Yeah. So uh, which of the following English language tests will you be able to prove as part of your application? So first, you can click on IETS, but I will not say you should not, I will say you should not do that because here it says no proof of English language key and native speaker. So if you are from Nigeria, just like me, just select the native speaker, okay? So because Nigeria is a native speaker of English, yeah. So I'll click on next. You can see now that we are now able to go for a master program application. So, okay, it's already translated. So no need to click that, okay? So if you are using a laptop and your page is not translated, reload the page first, then click on this uh, Google Translate icon here, click on English, and you should be able to uh, translate the page, okay? Because I don't want to just translate for me in English. Yeah. Said, uh, okay, so let's, Let's zoom it out and see what is happening right here. Okay. So this is early in the morning. I've not, I've not even uh, taken my bits because I'm so excited that this university finally starts 
their application. I've been waiting for today so that I can see how the application is being done. And eventually it's it's tricky. So it's tricky and a lot of people might get it wrong. Okay, so that is why I just come here because I can't leave almost 4,000 people alone to, to, to go and do the wrong thing, okay? 4,000 people should not be wrong. Yeah, that is my, that is my, uh, that is my, uh, that is my happiness, okay? That I'm making this video for you right now so that you can successfully apply, okay? So now it says for this, you need the following information, okay? So if I, at any point you find value in this video, please click on that like button, click on that like button, okay? Because this is the only way you can support this channel right now. And uh, I appreciate every one of you that has been supporting this channel. And I appreciate almost, we are close to 1,500 subscribers right now. That's a lot, and it means a lot to me. It means a lot to me, yeah. It means a lot to me. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. So, said you can check your entry in the correction overview at the end of the online application and then make correction. Please, before you submit your application, make sure you check every information that you selected or you fill in. Okay, because in most cases, when you fill in a wrong information and you submitted your application, you might not be able to modify it. When I mean modify, you might not be able to edit it. Okay, so if your entry are correct, send your application by clicking the send button. Okay, so don't rush. Don't rush. That is why I make that video earlier. Because you, if you remember, if you watch that video, go, if you've not seen that video, this is the video. So I'm going to drop this video at the description of this video again. So if you've not seen that video, go and watch that video and make sure you understand everything that needs to be done. There are four faces that I show you in that video. So I'm not going to say it in this video again. Okay. And, uh, okay. Your data will be encrypted and sent to the registrar office of the uh, of the university so that third party cannot see them. You will then receive a confirmation email with your control sheets. Okay, so login information portal upload. So first thing we have to do is to create account. Once we create account, then we can now continue to log into the portal. Please upload the document required for each courses by the application deadline, not the application deadline. Don't wait for that. So I'll click on this, then I'll click on continue. So if you remember, there was a university we were trying to apply to, and the section, the cookie, uh, the website section was actually timing out. Okay. So if you are a developer like me, you will understand. Yeah, that is bad. That experience was bad. Yeah. The session timeout is very short. Okay. So make sure you've checked the course you want to apply to so that you can easily select. You know, I've told you any university that you have the uh, application on the websites, especially German universities, you are not going to pay any admission application fee. So that is one thing I'm bringing to you. You have to pay for that. Yes, you have to pay for that. So abschluss, okay? So that should be degree, right? Let's translate that back. Okay, so diploma, masters. So I have confirmed that I have read the entry and admission regulation for this. We don't end all of this. My subscriber has watched my video. Okay. So apply selection, confirmation. If I apply to the university more than once, only the most recent application is valid. Okay. So I think this is better. This is better. This is better. Okay. So which means you can apply for a maximum of three courses. Maximum of three courses. So this is actually good. The last application must contain all subjects for which I want to apply, okay? So I think, so let's click on, please select at least one course. I thought I, I, thought I selected the course. Okay, I did not click on this button. Okay, sorry. So when you select your course first, 
Okay, so that means I can apply to three at once. Okay, masters, then I will click here, then I will click on apply selection. Oh, that is that is what they are showing us here. You see now, you see, I've not even tried the application uh step myself. So most time when I bring a university for you, the application process, I always do it when I watch uh or when I'm recording the video so that it will not be as if uh is a plan or is a screen is the kind of screenshot or anything. That's why I always show you my screen okay so i like to be playing with you guys because there's nothing in telling you or giving you false information okay so i think only that one is better so i don't want this one again i don't want this so i just want to apply for one then i'll click on continue okay so now it take us to this page i thought we're supposed to be Creating our account right now. Okay, so let's look at what this university is saying. How many years did you study at a foreign university? Mm, four. I'll just put four. Please enter the year in the format X, comma S. Mm, in which country did you last study? Mm, let me put Nigeria. Um, please check the year entered. Please enter the year in the format X. Four. I don't understand this their method. Though. Yeah. This is mm, enter yes if you are writing or have written a thesis, special thesis in your degree. If no, you are not writing a thesis. So have you already completed? Yes, of course. Please enter the title. Uh, uh, learning. Okay. Actually, did e learning management system? Yeah, that's my thesis title. Okay, so that is why most time you see me uh building e learning solution for universities, college of educations, and all of those. Okay, so that's what I do, and most of this uh international universities that have online program or most of them that that add or that added uh, online courses to their physical classes we build e-learning solution for them because it's a single system that we use yeah okay please enter the grade point of your thesis uh okay so i can enter up to four number 4.5 Please enter the grade of your point should be okay. Now I understand now. Okay, so it should be 4.0. Four zero, right? Okay, so it's four comma zero. So that's four years. So that's four comma zero. Okay, so we just got an idea now. So you see that? Please enter the grade of your thesis. My thesis thirty. Ah, my thesis grade is four point zero. Uh, four point five. Okay, for let me see, or oh, let me just copy this and paste it there. Area of your thesis. Hmm. Uh, I should have selected uh, my courses. Not yet. 
computer science. Uh, okay, let's just put business administration. Uh, 4,5. 4,5. So they are on points. Let me see. Uh, Okay, so and um, six comma okay. I will I score zero point one as my grid. <laughs> so they are not accepting dots. So that's what I found out there now. They are not accepting dots, but comma. Yeah. So I'll let's 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 take a look at it again. Okay, so here you can see it here. So this is this is uh, a comma and not so instead of four point zero or four point five or four years, they are not accepting that you must put a comma before the points or as the points. Yeah. So I think they are just trying to fight some uh, some attack. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. So, when did you finish your study abroad? Ah, which year did we put earlier? At the beginning of the video. Okay, 2018. We put 2018. Are you in the top 10% of the senior year? Of course, the senior students. Why is it like this? So, let's translate back to English. So we must use this format. Uh, 15, 0, 03. So I just want to see if it's going to accept that date format. Okay. So it's actually, it's actually working. So, ah, I don't want this video to be too long. So other information. This should be the last one, okay? Not yet. Please explain what type of documents we can provide as evidence. Uh, so I'll put undergraduates degree certificates transcripts record certificates and okay so optionally so this this ones are optional can you enter the city in which you completed or we complete your bachelor program in which city ah which university in Nigeria do I like okay let me use my spouse university uh uh, Spouse University. Let me put this. Can you enter the final goal of your bachelor degree here? Can you enter the subject of your bachelor degree here? Mm, no, we've been using business uh business administration so i don't want the information so i just want to do this uh hello hello okay have you already completed your study yes so then i'll click on continue that's like we feel almost three pages information right now so Okay, so I think this is the last one before we now start uploading documents. Okay, 
So, okay, this is the closing statements. Yeah. First name, my first name is Sylvester. Most of you does not know. You can see it here. <laughs> Other name, uh, last name, last name. Most of you might have seen this. Yeah. So most of you might have seen this. Uh, where's the page? Okay. My music. Gender is masculine. Translate this thing, my brother. Okay. Maiden name. Joey. Okay. Uh maiden name. What am I putting self? Maiden name is this. So <laughs> I'm not a woman. Uh date of birth, day, month, and year. So date of birth. Let's put day, let's put 10, uh, dot zero three dot, uh, let's put 2010. Hey, that's bad. <laughs> let's put, we're in 2023 right now, okay? So let's put 2000, okay? So place of bed. So I know. Most of you. So most of the information I'm providing here are not my uh correct information. So okay, so if necessary, please enter the additional. So I'll just leave you to this because but I want to get to the end of this so that I will see what they will bring up next. Then I will leave you to that. Okay. So house nine. House nine, if necessary, and additional information about the uh house nine behind behind uh, which address can I use? Behind NY SC. Um It is Abuja. Okay, so let me put my uh, country of residence. So let me just put this my phone number plus two three four uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. So this is not a correct number. So don't don't even try it. Most of you know my email, so I will use. I'll use my correct email, okay? So email control. So that means you should put your email again. Then uh, let's now read declaration on the electronic procedure. I shall inform me regularly about the status of my application in the information portal, okay? So this is important. Uh, poster code. Uh, okay. Uh, Abuja postal code. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. Nine hundred one zero eight. So. Nine nine hundred one nine hundred one zero eight. Okay, so that should that should work. So this one we help them to be keeping you informed about the progress of your application and what you need to do. I apply the allocation of a study place according to my above information. I certify that I have not definitely failed and examination required by the examination regulation in any of the courses I have now applied for in the university, blah, 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 okay? So let's click and see, is it flagging anything? No, okay, so we click on continue. Okay, so 
What is this? We need to translate again. English, translate to English. Okay. So cor correction overview of the online application. Okay. So this is this is it here. So you have to uh make sure you check your information. So the program you want to apply into, then uh if I click send now, if I click send now, it means I'm done with filling all this information. So you can e equally go back and go and edit anything that you said. You see that you can see now that they change that comma to dot here four years abroad. You can see it now. So <laughs> knowledge is power. So you can see it now that they change it to points instead of comma. Okay. So that's that. Okay, so those are the major uh, major information. So I'm not going to click it because I don't want this university to start uh, reaching out to me for anything. That should go and complete my application, and I don't want uh, to waste that slot. Okay, so this is how you can easily apply to this university. Okay, so if you find value in this uh, video, make sure you click on that like button. Okay, so at this point, you are going to click on send then they will give you some information or some guideline about how you can continue by logging in to your portal, okay? So after you click on send button, you will be, uh, you'll be notified. You will then receive a confirmation email with your control sheets. This is when you can now start uploading your document. This is the easiest application I've ever seen. Just fill out those information. We feel like three, three, to four pages of information, right? Then you start uploading your document to support. Uh, we added it there that we can actually provide our degree certificate and our transcript. Then your login, you're gonna upload those documents that you said you can provide. Then you submit your application. Then boom, you apply. You are you are you are accepted into the university. Okay, so this is what I have for you in this video. And if you want me to make any other video for you like this one then don't hesitate to comment at the description of this video and i want you to rate this video over 10 uh, so i can know my performance and how i can improve on my subsequent videos okay so thank you everyone for coming around today and see you in the next one peace